Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I got a kind of a question. I think this is more geared towards Adobe because I think this is an Adobe related issue. Um, let's see over here, I've got my um, BISC tools going on over here to monitor what's going on. And you can see, this is the GPU. And you can see right now, it's pretty much maxed out on its uh, VRAM memory. It's got six gig of uh, VRAM in the nine GTX 980 Ti. And when it gets to this point, um, this is what happens. As you can see, I, I'm cursoring on the timeline and you can't see anything. Now sometimes it will actually show you something like, you see right here, if I, I'm moving the mouse around and I'm releasing right now and see how it goes away. And if I were to actually go here to like maybe one of these files and I say reveal in project and then I double click here, the same thing happens in this viewer as well. If I release, it goes away. All right. So, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, go out of Premiere and then I'll come back and uh, have a refresh basically of the the uh, program. And as you can see, it's loading up all the files. I've just basically rebooted, I guess you could say, the uh, op not the operating system, but just the program. And now you can see when I play back, these are two 4K files, by the way, and I'm just testing some different um, things for my A7R2 course. But you'll notice over here, um, you can see it was maxed out over here where my cursor is, but over to the right of it, you see that big block of the memory used over here, um, there's not much used at all. It's less than a gig, so it's not using much at all. And that plays back just fine. So what I'm gonna do, um, and I'll probably pause this recording, is I'm going to cursor around like this um, to all the different things. There's some DNxHR, um, and there's also some ProRes on this particular two and a half hour timeline. And I'm just gonna run through all my tests really quickly and I'll be back in a minute. Cause you can see over here, you can see how the uh, memory use is going up. Um, so what I'm gonna do so you're not bored is I'm gonna just keep doing this until um, it crashes again. Or what I'm guessing is happening is there's some sort of memory leak issue. So I'm just gonna go through all these different tests and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I just got it to spike. You see how it's spiking up right there? And what I was doing, basically, I was cursing around like this, but where I got it to actually do it was when I zoomed in on it. And so it was almost like it's there's a memory leak issue maybe when it regenerates the thumbnails. But as you can see now, it just cursed way up. Because I was, basically what I was doing before when I was on pause uh, on this screen capture program, I was just going around like frantically going back and forth. and. All this stuff was working fine. If I remember correctly, this Shogun footage was shot on the DNxHR. In fact, let's go properties. I can tell you, it was shot with, um, I don't know. It doesn't really say what it was shot with. I think most of the time I've been shooting a DNxHR. Uh, maybe somebody could tell, oh, let's go down. Yeah, this is actually shot with ProRes uh, 422LT. All right, so what happened was I was going back and forth, nothing was happening until I zoomed in and zoomed out. It was kind of some, some like it was regenerating the thumbnails. And that's where you see this um, on the graph right here as it's going up. That's where I got the issue. So if it's memory leak issue, my guess is it has something to do with the thumbnails. So I just thought I'd create this little, I guess you could call it an Adobe Premiere bug report. But if anybody else is running into this issue, um, uh, let me know. Um, or I'll probably post, it, post this video on the Adobe forums as well. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.